Scotty, when it comes to disclosing information to a potential buyer, you see a lot of errors being made. There are people out there that, that say too little or too much. So what should a seller be disclosing to a potential buyer? Well, uh, we all should have a conscience and you have to do the right thing. And the right thing is to disclose anything that's objective. So if the roof leaks, it should be disclosed. Uh, if the furnace is 30 years old but working beautifully, that does not need to be disclosed. Um, if um, the living room is dark and you've lived with it for 30 years and hated every day of that 30 years, that does not have to be disclosed. That's a value judgment. Let the prospective buyer, they come in with their own values. They may like a dark living room. So that you do not have to disclose. Um, if your refrigerator doesn't work, it needs to be disclosed. Uh, that's the honest thing to do and the right thing to do. So it, to, in my mind, it's as really as simple as that. If something, if it's an objective fact, it needs to be disclosed. If it is subjective or part of a value system, it does not have to be disclosed. And in today's world of, of home inspections, you know, sometimes people try to hide things in an objective issue with the home the home inspector is going to find it and it's just going to put a bad taste in the seller's mouth. So it makes sense with those objective items that might be wrong, you've got to disclose them up front or try to fix them before you even put the home on the market. What you really should do is fix them before you put the home on the market because y you need to disclose them and if you don't disclose them, the home inspection is going to discover them. Most home inspections today are extremely thorough. They will find them and then you'll be uh, they'll be asking for a discount on price. So you're much better off fixing them first. If you don't want to fix them, then disclose them and then build it into the price. Great information, Patty. Thank you. Objective, disclose. Subjective, Subjective values, do not disclose. Keep your opinions to yourself. That's Thanks. right. Thanks, Patty. And if you're looking for more buyer and seller tips, you can find more right on our page here in Real Estate Talk Boston. And if you'd like to connect with Patty directly for any of your real estate needs, you can go to our website at pattysalem.com.